Turning now uh, to the 2024 election, President Biden looking to shake up the Democratic primary schedule. The president looking to move South Carolina to the top of the schedule before Iowa and New Hampshire. Now, the president's team reportedly saying if South Carolina isn't first, the president will not appear on the ballot in Iowa and New Hampshire. Traditionally, the first two contests. Uh, help me out here, Bob. I thought if you run for president, you appear on the ballot, right? Isn't that the way things are supposed to work? <laughs> I, I, this may not play well uh, for the White House. I mean, this is a problem for the White House. RFK Jr., obviously doing okay in the polls. Yeah. Really? Uh, you know, it's just listen, I, I, no, I mean, and I'm not saying RFK Jr. is going to beat him, but when you say, I'm not going to be on the ballot, but I'm running for president, right. the fix is in, and, and critics will say that. The coronation. The coronation, right. Yeah. He's a king. These are the two you know. most important states. And not to mention, when President Biden decided to move from New Hampshire and Iowa to South Carolina, his, his statement bothered me the most because he said it's about black voters. What about all voters? I think that's what bothered me the most. Why are we changing tradition? Why are we changing our custom for black voters? This is the divisiveness in our country. And this is what we don't need from a president so, to put black voters above any other voters. There, it should be all voters. There are a lot of states that would say that Iowa and New Hampshire shouldn't have more importance than other states. And uh, it is a delicate that, That's been the dance. argument for a while. It has been. I will say, having worked in Iowa, and seen up close that process. One, it's cheaper, so candidates who don't have as much money can actually engage. Two, Iowans expect you to come to their home mm -hmm. and engage with you, and that is very different in other states. I really wish the Democrats would not have spiked Iowa and New Hampshire, but RFK Jr., he is like <laughs> Hunter Biden. Like, the guy has a rap sheet that is, like, incomparable, and there is no way this guy is going to be Do you president. think the Biden White House should avoid him? That's what they've been doing, and his numbers are still... I mean, all they have to do yes. is drop opposition. The guy had heroin on a plane. He got kicked out of multiple boarding schools before he somehow got into Harvard. He similarly, for some reason, was asked to consult on business, probably for the name But, but, but don't you have to be fair? I mean, don't you have to be... I mean, remember Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders? Oh, yes. All the debates would happen on a Friday <laughs> night. The fix was in for Hillary Clinton over Bernie Sanders. I mean... And I mean, come on. on. The on a Democratic debate primary is, like, an anti-vaxxer whose wife says his views are reprehensible publicly. You've got Cornell West, who <laughs> self-identifies as a Marxist socialist, and you have Oprah's spiritual advisor, and then the leader of the world. Tell us how you really world. feel. So <laughs> Biden, and I'm happy to enumerate his many failures, is looking pretty good right now. I, like, I don't think Lauren. he's got too much to worry about. Pretty much. I agree with you, Lauren. We're talking with about him. him. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.